happy birthday to yourself. Happy birthday to myself. Just, just to look at me and say, all right, happy birthday to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any advice for yourself? Yeah, don't hang out with this guy. <laughs> happy birthday, Kirk. Uh, today for you, I have a short timeline, the history of Allie and Kirk. So, February 22nd, 1980, Kirk is born. And I was not pleased because clearly you were the reason why I had to stay at Grandma and Grandpa's house for the last 48 hours. But I let you know my displeasure by punching you in the stomach. So, things didn't start out too well. Um, when you were about one, I was still not quite impressed uh, because you used to eat dirt out of the potted plants, um, which I let mom know about each time you did it. Uh, when you were three, I still preferred playing with the stuffed animals when we were playing restaurant because at least the stuffed animals would knock everything off of the table when we were eating. When you were four, things started looking up because you let me put makeup on your face and you let me cut your hair. Um, I hid all the evidence of that in the trash can, but somehow mom still noticed the big hole of hair moving out of the back of your head. But when you were five, that's when we discovered our favorite game, or my favorite game, which was to tie a jump rope around your waist and walk you around our house like you were a dog. And if you remember, I called you Muffin. And from there, I think that set the tone for our entire relationship. And because you're turning 40, tonight we have a reprisal of one of your favorite things. Tonight we have dun, 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 a show. Ta -da! Um, happy birthday, man. I just wanted to take this opportunity to um, share my gratitude for just what a what an amazing brother-in-law you've been, um, what a loving and amazing uncle. Um, Nikki, just adore spending time with you whenever you can. Um, you're always there for us when we, when we need a hand from uh, driving up and down California in the middle of the night to help us move to showing up to babysit in a moment's notice. You have certainly changed more poop diapers than any one childless person um, should be required to do. So um, just thanks for everything. Uh, love you so much. And uh, many more years of joy are hopefully in your future. So just, um, you know, man, keep keep wearing those nuts on your back and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Uncle Kirk. wanted to wish you a happy birthday happy big 4-0 and um, thanks for being a friend to the whole family to to me being there for Daniel um, being a wonderful tutor to Sayer right anything yeah. you want to say thanks for letting me get good grades yes for thank practice. you for that Thanks for being a part of our family. And so keep doing what you're doing. We love you. What are you doing? What are you doing with your mouth? Cut that. Okay. And we'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. What do I love most? What is my favorite thing about Kirk Watanabe? My favorite thing about you is that... My favorite thing about you is how... How you know what you like or don't like, and um, and that's that, <laughs> um, including me. And it's so so awesome, and I'm so lucky to have someone like you in my life um, who loves me and 
no matter what we go through, like all the ups and downs and trials and tribulations, um, I hope that you know that I will always feel in some ways indebted to you. <laughs> that is weird, maybe, but I guess just that in a lot of ways, um, I feel like, I don't know, like that you um, brought me back, brought me to life, <laughs> something like that. Anyways, I love you. Happy 40th birthday, and um, I hope you enjoy everything, and I hope that everything goes off without a bitch. Bye. Happy birthday, Kirk! Just wanted to let you know how much we love you and how wonderful it is being your favorite Auntie Nay and Uncle Tom. So, we created for you a special word problem. It's, it's a math word problem. And here it is. Kirk was born 40 years ago and we live 17 miles away. Back then, gasoline cost $1.19 per gallon. So if Kirk spent 20 days per year at our house until he went to college in 1998, how many MGM musicals did he watch? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Hi Kirk, we're from our two family vacation here in San Antonio that you miss again <laughs> two years in a row now. Not good, not good. Anyway, let's see. Favorite moments with Kirk. Hmm. Driving through the drive through for takeout and telling Uncle Larry to tell them make sure it's to go. And uh, calling me, uh, I don't know how I got that nickname, Cheese Head. Cheese, Cheese Ball. ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying mold wine when we thought it was cider. And the cousin always getting lost with <laughs> Fruit Vale. Instead of the end of the line at Richmond on the bar. Okay. Well, happy birthday. Well, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, birthday Kirk. Birthday. And, and me too. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hard to believe it's been 35 years since we met playing soccer with the YMCA, and about 25 years since I randomly showed up on your doorstep and spent that summer playing basketball and Monopoly. Uh, since then, you and Ruben have had a lot of great times. Epic fireworks shows, great times scaring kids so they can earn their trick-or-treat candy, some fun New Year's Eves, and a lot of other fun parties too. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys for introducing me to one of my favorite activities in life, and that's skiing. I still tell people the story about how you guys showed me the bunny slope and showed me all the basics so I could figure out how to get down that easy slope. And then you guys were gonna go do your own thing and catch up with me later, but I didn't know that was the plan. So as you guys got on the big lift, I snuck in behind you on the same chair and you guys looked at me and said, what are you doing here? And I said, I don't know, I'm not supposed to be here. And you guys said, no but I guess you're gonna figure out how to get down now. And you guys made sure I got down safely and we had a great time. I haven't turned back since. I miss you guys. We're due for a lot more good times and that's gonna to start tonight. So happy birthday, let's celebrate. Hi Kirk, happy birthday, I can't believe you're for um, because you look way younger than that. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for um, all of the support and faith that you've had in me over the past couple years, like um, throughout my college and educational processes and my artistic uh, endeavors as well. I just really appreciate um, your support as a mentor and also my family, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hey Kirk, happy birthday. Hope you're doing well and I hope you're living it up today. I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you so much for all of the support and guidance you've given me over the years. 
Um, you know, I really appreciate all of your hard work and the values that you've instilled in me. And it's definitely given me a good foundation for success. And so things are going well up here at Berkeley. I definitely miss you back home and I hope to see you soon. So happy birthday again. to see. The monkey knows how to get what they want. They are good public speakers. These traits are very prominent in you. Monkeys can be stubborn but tolerant and understand the value of family. This is you and you are my monkey. Happy birthday my son. Love you and so proud to be the mom. Thank you.